So in today's video, I will show you exactly on how to build your own OpenAI agents and then connect it through APIs into a third party applications. So let's get into it. So as you can hear, I want to create a automation and I want to connect my own API, ChatGPT. However, I need to add my own API and this is where I need the API key and then as well as organization ID. So what do I have to do is first of all, I have to create my own agent that it will be able to actually function as a proper AI bot robot. So the first thing what I have to do is actually have to go into OpenAI API. Now here, what I have to do is I just have to log into my profile. And then once I'm logged in, then I'm on my dashboard of my API connections. Then what I have to do is I want to go to the dashboard and then I can click on the assistant. Now here you can see the previously made assistants that I made it for myself. However, I will create a new assistant and this is where I will prompt my new AI. So the first thing you have to do is to click and give name. So for me, it will be email response agent. And then here, this is where you will be putting down your own instructions. Now, what I have done is I have created my prompt already. So what I will have to do is I'll just copy the prompt and then I will paste it inside the assistant. And how did I create this prompt is pretty much with the action and being very specific in detail what I exactly tell the AI to do and what is the task. So in my example, I'm giving a specific role such as you are an advanced email assistant specializing in categorizing emails related to learning course programs. Your task is to classify emails into one of the following eight categories based on the email content. Now, the eight categories would be course content questions, technical support, pre-purchase queries, payment and billing issues, as well as career guidance, etc., etc. Now, as you can see, I have created a specific role. I have provided a specific action with the specific knowledge, and then I will provide what is the following action that it has to do. So using the subject line and body of the email as an input, return a category name, the best describes the email topic and etc. and able to respond to the email correctly. Now, as you can hear as well, I have created specific examples for the AI to understand on what is exactly going on. So for instance, example one, example two, example three. And if you provide more of these specific examples of the actions that you want to create, then the AI, it will be able to understand more on what kind of tasks is supposed to do. So once are you happy with the prompt, you can just save it. And then from there, you can choose your own specific model. Now, because it's not a sophisticated model that I have created for myself, it is the simple model, then I will just use the GPT 3.5 Turbo. Now, I don't need it to have this file searches or code interpreter. And then however, what I wanted to have is the response format, which is in text, and I don't want it fully to be hallucinating. So once that pretty much agent has been created, we have to create a specific API keys around it. So what do you want to do is you want to create a new secret key. And then you here you can put the name of the assistant that you want to create. So email response agent. From here, you select a specific project that you have created your automation on and then create a secret key. Once you receive the secret key, you have the API secret key. So what you have to do is just copy that secret key. And then here you have to go back to the um, make.com. Paste your secret key, meaning the API key. And then what else you need to do is to get the organization ID. You can find this organization ID under settings when it comes to general, and then you will find your organization ID. So only thing you have to do is just to copy the organization ID, go over the make, paste it, and then save it. Once that's saved, your AI will be connected, and then you can go over from here to selecting a specific assistant 
and agents that you want to do. So for instance, classifying emails, etc. And this is how you build your own specific agents on the OpenAI API connections and then create a specific API key in a way that it will help you to connect your own agent into third parties applications such as Make in order to use your own AI in other parties applications. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this really helped you and to giving you an understanding on how to create your own agents. And if you like those videos, then click the subscribe button together with the like button. And then I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.